Hi, this is Dr. Don. Due to popular demand, we're going to make a walkthrough for the Lab 7 Remix. And this is going to be in two parts. This is the first part. Here is the Lab Manual webpage about the Remix. And as we scroll down, you're familiar with that loading the libraries, the packages in the library, excuse me. We've got two research questions this time, and you must answer both questions, okay? So the first thing to do is to try to figure out which examples and the rehearses you need for these things. So let's just read this first one. It's talking about an ER manager that's paying attention to the missions in her clinic. She's collected data that's in your data folder, clinic.csv. There were 600 admissions to the ER that week. The previous year, she calculated the average percentage of admissions in four time blocks, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And what she wants to know, has things changed? Is the, the current distribution of admissions significantly different from what she experienced in the past. So we've got a number of percentages here. Those are also proportions. We've got one categorical variable, which is the um, emissions and four levels of that morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And so this is sounding like a goodness of fit question in which we're comparing an observed distribution proportions to the history or to a plan. Okay, so that would be the goodness of fit and I'll say some more about that in a minute. Second question says a promoter has gotten a state to consider legalize online betting the state took an opinion poll and the data is found in the gambling.csv file in your data folder. So remember you go back to the um, code chunks and you can get a chunk if you've forgotten how to do that, how to load out of your, in your data folder into your environment. And the question is, is there a difference between poll participants who are and are not gamblers on whether or not gambling online should be approved? So what we're, you can think about that, we're categorizing these participants, gamblers and not gamblers, and we'll see that better once you inspect the data table. And then also their opinions, yes or no. So we've got what is known as a two by two table, two levels of gambler or not, and then online or not. And that sounds like a test for independence that we did in the uh, Rehearse 2 in Lab 7. So that's where you would go for this. But let's talk about how you report. That's the question that's come up quite a bit. So hang on a second. 